welcome back friends i am here to teach you about the further about arduino let me try to understand what this course is and what the course required tools and what are the different skill sets required by a person to understand the developing concept in their mind in this module this is basically a module 1 lecture 2 we will try to understand the different aspects of this course <music> Basically, the first question comes in our all of our mind is whom this course is for? Am I capable of understanding this particular course or may I enroll into this particular course? What are the basic requirements one should have to get into this course? Who is the basic suitable personality who can make work on this particular domain? And am I going to work with this and how much will be the scope for after learning this particular course? So, while understanding who, from whom this course is for, anyone who is a hobbyist, a student or a school going student, a college or a university student or maybe uh, any enthusiast in electronics, in hardware development or in computer background or any other electronics or any mechanical field or instrumentation field, engineers, non-engineers or graduates or basic graduate students who is willing to make their career or make as a hobby development of different skills, uh, kits and gadgets can make use of this particular domain and try to understand the basic concepts of this subject. A beginner in a design and development field. Basically in design and development field, many of the tasks are needed to be get demonstrated before sending it to the final manufacturing. But for running of this kind of things, the several simulators and emulators are to be needed. So in that case, simulations can be done, various particular IDEs are available in the market. But what about the platform which may be needed for a hardware development? It becomes very costlier for developing each individual gadget by using different different circuit boards. So why can't we have a basic board which can help in developing the different designs and different concepts by using a single board? So that is what the concept comes into the mind so that beginners are can also make use of this particular domain to develop their own concept and implement into by using a hardware modules robotics or any other relevant field researchers we will want to make certain robots household robots which can milk help us to domestic purposes industrial robots they can control the mechanisms or maybe education and research background robotics they can also make use of prototyping their robotic modules or certain equipments which may be helpful for carrying out those daily activities and reduce the human efforts they can also as an hobbies they can uh, develop the different uh, gadgets by using this arduino platform it is very useful and it works so well so a person from any industrial or educational background Nowadays, the educational institutes are also promoting this uh, particular domain as an accessible for educational students and school students for developing the different de concepts of science and engineering. Educational background students willing to learn and make their projects prototypes for demonstration. The first choice nowadays become so popular among the college going students and university graduates for prototyping their final year projects is Arduino development board. There are so many variants are available from the Arduino community and this so many libraries are also made available for by the community users and the community supporters into the into the network so that one can easily have an access without any kind of a license and that is what this course is meant for all the persons and the people who are really an enthusiast and really wanted to learn something new in this particular field definitely it's a very helpful for all the persons of all kind then what will be the skill set required oh you should be able to learn and understand the concepts a basic understanding of any fact or conceptualization is needed for getting into in this particular course you should have a small understanding of computer knowledge also if you are a consistent in practicing different codes, developing your own logics or you are willing to learn something about 
coding and logic making different logical circuit configurations understanding the basic principles behind the configurations and trying to work with so and make your hand dirty with the different uh, different circuit designing then you are most welcome in this particular field logical understanding to develop own coding logic one should have logical understanding how the logics works how this particular uh, computer systems what will be the basic uh, fundamental principles behind the operations of various concepts inside the development domain that we need to be understand so basic understanding is must for working into particular this domain or any other domain who are very new to you a person having basic knowledge of a computer system is very important just because this system is designed in such a way that you should have to work on the hardware as well as you have to work onto the software because in that we are having another ide designed by the arduino community through to which you have to make some installations add some certain li libraries so the basic understanding of computer system is also a must for a user so by having a sim simple skill sets of basic understanding consistency of doing certain new tasks logical understanding and development uh, development of coding logics and a basic computer knowledge is must for the uh, any user who is willing to do work onto this particular domain it's easy easy accessible and basically free to use so all are most welcome to develop this particular skills and make your own prototypes and designs thank you